Hi, this is Phil at lovequicksilver.com. In this screencast, I want to show you a really quick way of ejecting mounted volumes such as hard drives and flash drives, and also how to handle DMGs such as applications you might download from the internet. All of that without using the finder. In the process, uh, we'll be adding a folder to Quicksilver's custom catalog and also making a hotkey in the trigger section of the preference pane. So normally when you have a hard drive mounted, you head over to Finder, and in the sidebar you'll see in the Devices section, you've got your external hard drives. In this case, I've got two partitions on the same hard drive. You can browse them in normal, and you can eject them using the eject keys next to the names. Now that's okay, but it's a bit of a pain if you're in the middle of something and you have to go over to Finder and do all those things. There's an easy way to do that using Quicksilver. The first thing you do is activate Quicksilver using Command Space. Now without setting up any hotkeys or adding folders to the custom catalog, we can eject those volumes pretty easily. If I hold down the forward slash key, you see I get my default hard drive, which is Macintosh HD. Now if I press the left arrow twice, you see a list of all the mounted volumes. And my hard drive has two partitions, external 320 and external 180. I can tab over to pane 2. Start typing eject, so I'm just going to type E for now. And usually you'll find that eject is the first action. Hit enter. And those partitions and hard drives should have been unmounted. Let's uh, open a new finder window. And if you look in the devices section, you see that both of those partitions have been unmounted. So that's pretty quick. But this is Quicksilver and it can do those functions even quicker. There's a couple of things we need to set up first. Now we're going to go to the preferences panel. So if I hit command comma. Head over to the catalog. I'm going to add the volumes folder to the custom catalog of Quicksilver. Now the volumes folder contains all the mounted hard drives, but by default it's hidden from the finder. Go back to my default hard drive. If I hit the right arrow, you'll see a list of folders. Now volumes is here, but by default it's hidden, so we can't see it at the moment. Head back to the hard drive, and if I hold the Option key and press right arrow, you see the Quicksilver displays all the hidden folders as well as the standard folders. If I type VOL, you see the first hit is the Volumes folder. Hit right arrow again, and you can see my mounted volumes there. Now what we're going to do, the left arrow again, I'm going to add the volumes folder to the custom catalog. I'm going to drag that out. You see the volumes folder is added to the list and out pops a little drawer showing lots of options and information about that folder. I'm not going to go into too much detail on this section right now, but uh, I'm going to keep the depth at one. I just want the top level item displayed from that folder. And if I hit contents again, even though it's selected, if I hit it again, you'll see a list of the items within that folder and also the folder itself. So I've got my external volumes, my default hard drive and the volumes folder. Now, it should be in Quicksilver's catalog, so if I invoke Quicksilver, type VOL, and sure enough, uh, Quicksilver finds that folder straight away for me. Let's see what happens when I just press V. Again, Volumes folder comes up, so I know now that when I invoke Quicksilver and hit V, I will always find Volumes folder. So I can right arrow into that, and again I can eject those uh, volumes pretty easily. But we're going to go one step further. 
I'm going to set up a hotkey for the volumes folder. If we head over to triggers, as you can see, my custom triggers list is empty at the moment. So I hit the plus arrow, hotkey, and you get another kind of quick sub interface. It's pretty much similar to the standard bezel that I'm showing you now. Just a different shape, different colors. Look for the type to search uh, message. That's the selected pane. So if I type V again, should find the volumes folder. Now the hotkey we're going to make is to display the contents of the volumes folder. So if I type SHC, the action I want is show contents. Hit enter. And you'll see a little summary of the command that I just made, show contents for volumes. Go over to the hotkey column, click it, and assign a hotkey in the text field. I'm going to use Control, Shift, and V. So that's set. Let's close the preferences window and see if that's working. Control, Shift, V. And sure enough, we've gone straight into the volumes folder and I can see my mounted hard drives and partitions. So that's pretty fast. Now, before we tab over to paint and hit E to find the eject action, there's a way to make that even faster. So again, I'm going to need to go to the preferences panel. Now in the preferences section, what I need to do is select the extras item in the sidebar. Uh, we went over this briefly and we only changed one option last time. Today we're going to go to this item, which is capitalize keys, modify action in command window. Now normally when you vote Quicksilver and type Shift E, you'll find some object that matches E, in this case again external 180. If I check this item, type Shift E again, you see that it finds the first action that corresponds to Shift E in Paint 2. And again, it's the eject action. Now that seems pretty fast, but even faster thing we can do is also use the command modifier. So let's change that action just to, for example, I've got it on open at the moment. But I know that if I hit Shift E, I will get the eject action. So if I hit Command Shift E without even leaving pane 1, the eject action will be performed automatically. Let's try that now. Command Shift E. Now my external 180 should have been ejected. Let's, uh, let's open a new window in Finder and see if that's the case. Sure enough, Sunlight is gone from the device list on the left. So, I'm going to plug my external hard drive, plug it back in. Vote Quicksilver, let's clear pane 1, go back to the top level. So, my external hard drive is mounted. I want to eject the external volume, so I'm going to hit my hotkey, hit Command Shift E, boom, the external hard drive has been unmounted. Let's check with Finder again, and sure enough, they're gone. So, a fast way to eject external volumes from any application using Quicksilver in a matter of what, one second. I'm sure agree it's a lot faster than using Finder. Next, we're going to talk about handling DMGs, disk images. And one of the common ways of uh, using disk images is when you download applications from the internet. I'm going to download an application now. I'm going to head over to Chrome. I've got Opera's download page here. I'm going to hit the download button.
DMG has downloaded to my downloads folder. I could use the dock to uh, access those items. In fact, I can't access the dock uh, because I'm in full screen on Chrome. It won't allow me to show the dock, which is hidden at the moment. Uh, but using Quicksilver, we can get to that quickly. If I type DO, I'll find my downloads folder automatically. Hit right arrow. Let's search for Opera, OP. And I can see the DMG there. Now, instead of opening Finder, uh, I'm going to use uh, Quicksilver to open that DMG. So hit enter. And the installation screen pops up right in Chrome. Okay, DMG is open. Now, normally you'd head over to Finder to find that. Again, I'm going to use. Um, my volume short key, which we've set to Control, Shift, and V. There you see the Opera DMG is mounted in the volumes. Open that. And you can drag that to the application folder. There's an even faster way of doing that. Close that window, go back to Chrome. Hit my volume shortcut. Go to the Opera DMG, hit the right arrow, you'll find the Opera application, and I can go ahead and copy that straight to the Applications folder. Puts Opera back in uh, Pane 1, and you can see from the path that it's been copied successfully, successfully to the Applications folder. So I can go ahead and hit enter and open that right now. And Opera opens. Now remember we still left the Opera volume mounted. We don't really want to leave that there. So if I use my volumes short key again, control shift key. Go to the Opera Volume, hit Command Shift D to eject it. And that's un unmounted. Let's head over to Finder and just double check that. No devices mounted in the device section. So there we have it a quick way to unmount volumes and also handling DMGs without even using the Finder. Hope you enjoyed this screencast. Thanks for watching.